Hey everyone, this is Sarah with SewingPartsOnline.com and welcome back to our sewing mini series. In this episode, I'm going to show you some tips and tricks for sewing set-in sleeves. First, you want to pay special attention to your markings and make sure everything is transferred accurately. Your sleeve pattern will have notches for matching with the front and back of your bodice, but it should also have dots along the sleeve curve. These dots indicate where your ease stitching should start and stop. The dot at the top of your sleeve should line up with the shoulder seam marking. Second, do not skip your ease stitching. It is crucial and really a big help when you're trying to fit all that fabric into the armhole. Ease stitching is when you sew two parallel lines, usually within the seam allowance, about a quarter inch apart from one another using a long straight stitch. Do not back stitch. Because the amount of fabric on your sleeve is greater than the size of the actual armhole, you'll have to gather the fabric along the east stitch to fit it all together. This seems counterintuitive. After all, won't you just end up with a puckered sleeve? Well, not if you pin like crazy and really focus on evenly distributing the gathers so that no one area is bunched up. It kind of feels like you're molding or sculpting the sleeve to fit the armhole. This part is when you need the most patience and is very frustrating and kind of scary for anybody learning. But after a couple set in sleeves, it gets easier and your intuition really takes over. Oh, and another quick tip. When you're getting ready to pin the sleeve to the armhole, Start with both your bodice and your sleeve inside out, then turn your sleeve right sides out and shove it in the armhole. That way you know everything will be facing the right direction when you're finished sewing. Thirdly, I swear by hand basting my seam before I take it to the sewing machine. Having all those pins out of the way really lets me see the seam and sew more slowly and more accurately. I promise this step is worth it. The more you can sew your fabric in place before you go to the machine, the better. It's really difficult to maneuver sewing a sleeve on the machine. So tacking your fabric now while you have the most control is going to give you a better result. When you're at the machine, you'll notice how often you have to readjust. With the pins gone and the fabric secure, you're less likely to get puckers. If you do get a pucker or two, simply seam rip about an inch around the pucker, redistribute the fabric, and sew again. No biggie. And as with all sewing, the press really makes a difference in the finished project, so invest in a tailor's ham. You see how it's curved like a cushion? This little guy supports the curve of your armhole, giving you a nice, crisp press. So I hope this helps alleviate some of the frustration that comes with set-in seams. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them in the comment section below. If you just want to come and hang out with our sewing community, be sure to visit us online at sewingpartsonline.com, on Facebook at facebook.com slash sewingpartsonline, Twitter at sewingparts, Google+, Pinterest, Instagram, we're everywhere. And be sure to subscribe by hitting that button below for next week's sewing video.